Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make this little elephant puppet. As you can see it's very sweet, it's head wobbles and moves around so you can have lots of fun making puppet shows with your friends and family. So for today's project we're going to use the inside of a toilet roll. We're going to need a small piece of card which can be part of a cereal box or a pizza box, which this one was, a pair of safety scissors, some Pritt stick type glue and then a collection of paints, pens or pencils to colour in with, a wooden kebab stick but I'm going to show you another way of making a paper stick. You're going to need a template which you will find on the Debezi Art Facebook or Instagram page which you can print off and then what you're going to do is colour in and then cut out all of these shapes. On the body part don't forget to make these two little red cut lines and these are the back legs, the head and the front legs. So basically you are going to start colouring in. Let's start with the body. Now it's better to colour in before we cut out and when you colour in, colour in like this, overlap over the edges of the template drawing like this and when you do the end of the tail, don't be careful, colour in like this and the reason we've done this is when we cut out you're not going to cut around all the little shapes you're just going to cut around it first and then do little cut marks into the tail like this so that we can get this sort of spiky effect and again don't forget to cut these little lines here that's very important for when we, we curve our body. For the face, I've coloured in like this, pink in the ears, blue eyes, left the tusks white. For the legs, I've left the little nails at the bottom white. And then it's time to start cutting around our shapes. This is um, you'll find this on, on your template which is a, a guideline for making a mark so make a mark on the toilet roll card and then we're going to cut this out first so cut down these two lines squidge the toilet roll sideways and then make a cut into the side and then carry along cutting along this line and the same on the other side so that we've got a shape like this which is going to be the base for our body. Now turn the body pattern over and we're going to glue along the bottom up this part on this part of his back and along his tail and then take the card board and we're going to just wrap our body part over press down and make sure that it's nicely glued together and then very carefully take this back part and squeeze together try and make sure that the two sides of the tail are lined up and then just press for a second and, and let it dry and there we have our elephant's body shape created. Then we're going to take each one of his legs, put some Pritt stick glue on the back and then stick them to the remainder of your toilet roll card like this and then we're going to very carefully cut out outside of the little black lines when you've done that, take a pencil and gently curl the bottom of his legs around a pencil. 
then we're going to glue the legs on like this so each leg only apply the glue to the leg part not the part where it curls onto the floor again leave his feet clear of glue place his back leg and just gently press do the same with the other back leg and then when it's dry you can bend his feet up a little bit more then we're going to take the head take your piece of card turn your elephant's head upside down and glue him nicely with your Pritt stick glue and then when you go to glue him on make sure you put it on the pattern side so press your head down nicely and then again we're going to cut out carefully keeping outside the black guidelines of our head shape and then when you turn it over there's no pattern you cut it's all hidden so then we're going to take a pencil and we're going to carefully bend the head around the shape of the pencil if you roll it over you can see how I roll the pencil and then we get a nice bendy shape like this then we're going to use the pencil to bend his trunk then decide where you're going to place his head take the neck part bend down and then halfway bend back up again and squeeze and then wiggle this up and down to make sure that it moves nice and freely then we're going to apply the glue to the pot top part only turn the head over position our neck if you want your head elephant's head to tilt tilt slightly and then press down hold and let let it dry and there we have our finished elephant puppet now we need to make the stick so you can either use this wooden stick cut off the pointed end but I'm going to show you how to make this paper holding stick so take something tiny like a cocktail stick and start rolling from this corner you need to keep it nice and tight and even and then very carefully roll the paper at this end apply some Pritt stick and roll it so it's nice and sealed you can then paint or color in your stick and then we're going to take this end do a little bend place it to our puppet and decide where we want other flexible bends to be and then put some glue onto this end lots of glue push the other end of the stick up through the puppet and then push the glued end against the inside of the body like this and then take a little piece of tape and place it over the top and press firmly just to reinforce it check that everything moves nice and freely and there we have our finished puppet ready to go and have a play Oh, 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 oh,